I spoke about uh, Clockwork Orange last week, I think it was last week, last uh, episode, and how it uses its violence. This week it's more about how convincing the violence is um, from the point of view of a filmmaker, which I find it really interesting. This is a mockumentary about a serial killer and a group of filmmakers helping him make this film about him, about the serial killer. It's one of the most convincing and flatteringly, like, shocking films because you believe all of it. Because of its documentary, uh, well, in the world of the mockumentary, it's a documentary status, um, it makes you believe that everything that is happening is happening, is true. Unlike it's French New Wave era of using editing to stylistically show how the film is unique. It uses it as a way of showing the time passage through the film and also making the film more convincing. Um, there are many different uh, editing choices in this film that jump from one event to another extremely quickly to show that it is a documentary and you are watching a, something that could be made by someone, which um, is an interesting perspective, especially considering during that time, every documentary made was serious and was, a, was made specifically for the reason of educating its viewers. Whereas this film is sort of like a study of the person, the main character, um, of the mockumentary or documentary in its world. It's like it is taking the interesting and cool uh, parts of the French New Wave with its talkative uh, dialogues and monologues of life and its violent yet short uh, interims of crime and uh, the corruption of, you know, people with crime and putting it into this neat little package of uh, a mockumentary and making something that is just so beautifully put together. There's even like a scene um, towards the middle, I think, or towards the end where Remy, who's the main character, um, he's editing the film in as he's uh, being filmed he's editing the film which is pretty meta and pretty um, wall fourth wall breaking because it shows that um, the French new wave and the era accompanying it isn't just this stylistic choice but also a way of showing what you can do with film and how you can make it different I think this film definitely takes a, a dark comedy route um, in the way it sort of mocks everything that is happening in its own film. You can really tell because its mockumentary format really complements it by doing this. You can really see that everything really isn't supposed to be taken that seriously as it is sort of known that it's not, it's not really happening but at the same time it's very convincing. It's it's almost meta in the way it, it uh, presents itself, um, which is is surprising because that's what the French New Wave did back in the '60s or back in when Jean-Luc Godard was presenting his films and making his films. Um, so it definitely has ties to the French New Wave, and which is one of my favorite my favorite times of cinema, uh, especially when it comes to Jean-Luc Godard. Anyway, we're kind of getting off track here. The main character is one of the most interesting parts of this film. Like um, A Clockwork Orange, you can really see how this character is driven by primitive actions and driven by just impulse uh, to do things. Like, you can also really tell how he just manipulates people and he, he presents himself as this, like, really, you know, happy, like, oh, I'm a, I'm a good person kind of guy, when, like, especially with his parents, um, when he's really, obviously, we can tell he's, 
you know, he's a psychopath. And like I said, I think he definitely does the things he does, not out of trying to get money, because you can you can see that he says most a lot of the time in the film that he does it for money. He like, you know, especially the rich old people. Um, but I don't think he does it because of that, because he he has this very he gets he takes pleasure out of it more than more than he does from getting the uh, the money from from what he does i don't want to say kills people obviously but um yeah i think that's a, that's a very interesting contrast between um him doing it out of money out of, out of theft and him doing it out of um obligation to the primitive actions what do you think puppy she doesn't have an opinion on this one. She doesn't like this film. It's f***ing hard out here, dude. But by far the most interesting part of this film is how it takes the documentary and mockumentary format and it just amplifies it to 11. It turns everything into this, like, massive dramatization. Um, especially the, the idea of following someone who's extremely interesting, like they, like they do in, like, you know, rockumentaries or different films like... Um, about public figures especially whereas this is just a, a private like thing this is just some random person who is extremely interesting but he's he's it's just so dramatized um everything he does which makes everything so intriguing like uh like anything before there's no film like this it's like a clockwork orange there's not really any kind of film that does this kind of style um the way the way it does you know yeah i love this film um i gave this film a 10 out of 10 it's an incredible tour film or tour i don't know how to say a tour but a tour means a film that um that style the director's style takes over the entire film and i feel like this definitely does um unfortunately he didn't really make any other films um which sucks but he did make a, a a short film that actually comes with the Criterion Edition, which is like a trailer for this really um, over the top like spy film, which you can really like kind of tell that it's a, a dark comedy uh, now that you after you watch that. Yeah, uh, I will be recommending films this time. You know, I'm gonna budge over so the films um, are actually in the frame this time. Puppy, the films are gonna be right here, so you might you might like be in the way so i'm just kind of kind of um the f three films i'm actually recommending i'm recommending three this time to kind of make up for for last time for the last one where i didn't recommend any um i'm going to be recommending i don't know where they're going to be so they might not actually be there where i'm actually pointing breathless band of outsiders and the dirties they're going to be like around here something yeah i love this film check it out just check out more weird films. Everyone needs to check out some David Lynch. Maybe I'll be, maybe I'll review some David Lynch next. Um, yeah, that's that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And also, I'm here at the. I've got to put my own stuff in there. You know, I've got to advertise my own stuff. Here's two. Here are videos. There are videos there now as well. It's like magic, man. I can just summon things. Like I'm literally, I'm literally a magician. So, you know. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Check those out. Damn, I'm good at this, man.